Why? Because when the sodium reabsorbs, sodium takes water with it. That is a normal process. If you reduce the reabsorption of the sodium, that would reduce the reabsorption of water. So the primary goal is actually to throw the water out. But to throw the water out, but to throw the water out, actually we are trying to throw the sodium out. So when the sodium is going to be going out, it's going to take the water with it, and that is how the water goes out. So that is a situation where we have the sodium going out, so the osmolarity will reduce. Some extra fluid is going out as well, so the fluid volume will reduce. Right? So this is hypoosmolar dehydration. But now what would happen on this side? Again, we have greater osmolarity here. We have greater, um, you know, we have fluid over here as well. Now, what do you think what happened to the concentration of the fluid? Where do we have greater amount of water? So, water is greater amount over here relative to this. Why? Because the osmolarity is higher over here. So, now what is going to happen? Water is going to move, right? So, the water is going to move from this compartment to this compartment, so that the osmolarity is pulled down and this compartment is going to increase in volume. Right? Okay, so why not we continue with the Donut-Yarrow diagrams in our next lecture, uh, I will see you in, in a bit.